Good morning class. Once again we are here with new lecture on topic respiration. We have done with digestion. We have already completed transportation and now we are going to talk about respiration and in this chapter in this class class 10 we will be talking about respiration of human beings basically respiration today we'll do the introduction part of respiration and then in next class we will talk about the process of respiration in human beings Better respiration as we see generally is bit different from its actual conditions. When we take in oxygen and breathe out oxygen, we sometimes term this process as respiration. But that's not true. This process of taking in of oxygen and releasing out of carbon dioxide is called breathing. Then a question comes if this is breathing then how do we define respiration and let us talk about the definition first so the definition says the definition says the process of release of energy from food an organism takes in takes in presence of or absence of oxygen is called respiration see the process of release of energy from food in presence or absence of oxygen. there are three things respiration is a process which is done by almost all organisms present on this planet and how do we define respiration it is a process of release of energy it is not the process of taking in of air or oxygen it is the process of release of energy and this energy will be released from food obviously we all know that we get energy from food we eat and food we eat, the food can be of diverse type, diverse nature. It could be meat, it could be plants, sometimes autotrophic, sometimes photosynthetic, sometimes heterotrophic, parasitic, saprophytic, and a type of method can be used by the organism to take food. But respiration is release of energy from food. And the third point is in the presence or absence of oxygen. This food is broken down into smaller components known as these smaller components known as ATP. The full form of is ATP is I don't know. Sine adenosine tri phosphate, which is an which is an energy packet for all types of organisms, be it be a lower organism, be it be a higher organism. ATP is released from the food we eat and that ATP is the packet of energy which is utilized by us, by other organisms to perform our functions for working of our body system. In the last class, class 9, you have studied about mitochondria which is called the powerhouse of cell. This powerhouse of cell is the one actually responsible for generating ATP. But we all know that not all organisms bear 
mitochondria. The lower organisms, the prokaryotic organisms, sometimes they do not have mitochondria. And hence, they produce ATP in some different manner. So today, let us talk about the types of respiration. So, first, we talk about respiration, which is of two types. First is aerobic respiration, and second is anaerobic respiration. First is aerobic respiration and aerobic respiration and second is anaerobic respiration. So first let us talk about number one that is aerobic respiration which I say is, is the one which takes place in presence of oxygen. You can define aerobic respiration as the process of, the process of respiration which takes place in presence of oxygen. This is called aerobic respiration. This process of respiration takes place in all higher organisms and the organisms which have mitochondria. Okay, there are two conditions where, where this, this type of uh, respiration takes place. First the higher organisms or the organisms which bear mitochondria. This means mitochondria is an essential component for bearing of aerobic respiration what it says the food recall the last chapter the food which was digested and converted into glucose we studied digestion how did the food we took in got digested and then absorbed the final digest, digestion component is glucose okay this glucose C6H12O6 first gets converted into pyruvate this gets converted into pyruvate okay you see here the glucose is getting converted into pyruvate this is a chemical compound this I'll try to explain in a different manner the food which we digested that became glucose the food got broken down into glucose now this glucose was transported from by circulatory system we talked about circulatory system so this food got transported through the circulatory system the blood and reached to the cell okay now suppose this is the cell this is the nucleus and suppose this is the mitochondria and this is all the cytoplasm and there is a blood capillary passing through the cell near the cell so what happens blood is flowing over here this blood is carrying glucose C6H12O6 in it this glucose got diffused into the cell okay after diffusion this glucose got converted into pyruvate this glucose got converted into pyruvate pyruvate and this pyruvate when reached into the mitochondria got converted into ATP okay this glucose which was formed from the food we have taken in after digestion it was formed glucose this glucose reached the cell by the help of blood system got diffused into the cytoplasm and by set of reactions it got converted into pyruvate and this pyruvate when reached to the ATP uh, mitochondria got converted into ATP once again you see here glucose got converted into pyruvate and this pyruvate got converted into carbon dioxide water and energy and this energy is termed as ATP that is adenosine triphosphate so first you see C6S12 got converted into pyruvate site of reaction was cytoplasm site of reaction this means glucose was getting converted into pyruvate at this time the reaction was taking place in the cytoplasmic region of the 
cell and then this pyruvate reached the mitochondria and got converted into energy carbon dioxide and water then the side of reaction is side of reaction is mitochondria this and this is called site all right site of reaction take it site of reaction is the place where the reaction is taking place and that is cytoplasm and mitochondria and this is glycolysis this process of conversion of glucose into pyruvate in the cytoplasm during aerobic respiration is called glycolysis and this process of conversion of pyruvate into energy in mitochondria is called krebs cycle is called krebs cycle black is called krebs cycle now you see over here this process gets completed in two steps first step was glycolysis which was taking place in cytoplasm and then the second process was krebs cycle which was taking place in mitochondria clear now we see the second part of the respiration that is aerobic respiration aerobic respiration basically can be defined as the process of respiration which takes place in an organism for the release of energy in absence of oxygen this was in presence of oxygen and this is an absence of oxygen but there are two subdivisions of aerobic respiration first the processes which take place in complete absence of oxygen and second which takes place in lack of oxygen we will compare these two it is very simple process it does not involve too many organs the mitochondria in these organisms is absent these are generally the lower organisms in this case you see the carbon uh, the glucose c6h12o6 got converted into pyruvate and this pyruvate got converted into ethyl alcohol c2h5oh and carbon dioxide and energy okay this things generally example you can take fungus this generally takes place in fungus or algae okay and then there is another condition in which oxygen is present but in a very little amount that is present but there is lack of oxygen in such cases this c6h12o6 gets converted into pyruvate and this pyruvate gets converted into lactic acid you see over here the conversion was into carbon dioxide water and atp here it is in ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and it and atp and here it's conversion to pyruvate lactic acid and energy that is atp atp is common in all the conditions but you see here end product is an important factor which we need to keep in mind the end product in this case complete is ethyl alcohol and in this case it's lactic acid and we we'll take as examples this is the condition which is used in case of production of alcohol when we need to produce alcohol we use some enzymes algae or fungi which can convert glucose into alcohol and that reaction takes place in absence of oxygen there is complete absence of oxygen oxygen is not required at all in this condition but in this condition oxygen is required here in the mitochondria let us talk about this condition lack of oxygen which is producing lactic acid this is a condition such as in case of humans when we humans go for vigorous exercise suppose you start to lift dumbbells very fast so after some time what happens is you start to feel a pain in your muscles 
this pain is induced because of presence of lactic acid when you start to work hard what happens is the supply of oxygen is decreased because because your your muscles muscles that starts to work hard and for work hard working this increase the demand of oxygen and that demand of oxygen cannot be met by our body and in that condition a condition arises where the cells get in lack of oxygen there is presence of oxygen but not in a sufficient amount and that is a condition when this type of aerobic and aerobic respiration takes place and which results in generation of lactic acid and induces pain in our muscle cells this you will see is quite localized in area if you are lifting dumbbells it will be in our arms but if we are if we are running it will be in our thighs and it will not the pain will not extend much but excess working excess production of lactic acid can result into death of that particular cells that cells of that particular area but we have generally seen when pain is induced we stop working hard and soon the flow of oxygen starts the demand is met and the pain decreases slowly and one more great difference is in this case aerobic respiration 38 atp molecules are produced from one molecule of glucose but in anaerobic respiration only two atp molecules are produced from one molecule of glucose see what a great difference in efficiency 38 molecules from one glucose molecule two atp molecules from one glucose molecule that is why this is called an efficient process and this efficiency is because of presence of mitochondria and hence mitochondria is called the power house of cell because due to presence of this mitochondria only higher organisms can produce 38 molecules of energy and the lower organisms they produce very less amount of energy and that is why they perform very low and this is because the higher organisms perform very high okay so this was all for today we see respiration divided into two parts aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration glucose got converted into pyruvate and then into carbon dioxide water and energy anaerobic respiration one which takes place in complete absence of oxygen glucose got converted into pyruvate and ethanol if there is lack of oxygen present but less glucose got converted into pyruvate and then into lactic acid and energy cytoreaction cytoreaction in this case is cytoplasm process called glycolysis cytoreaction is mitochondria process called krebs cycle in this case in these two cases there is no presence of mitochondria so both the reactions are taking place in cytoplasm only okay so what you need to remember basically is end products first you need to remember the reactions second you need to remember the end products third you need to remember the amount of atp which has been produced by the organisms in the next class we will talk about the actual process of respiration which takes place in human being we will divide it into two we'll talk about breathing mechanism and then we'll talk about respiration okay thank you till then be safe stay at your homes